Uh, the video today is about uh, fitting these steering head bearings into my um, Peugeot Tweet 125. I've um, I stripped the uh, bike down to the frame and uh, had it shot blasted. Then I, ha I actually brush painted it with this line green paint. And then I applied some uh, lacquer all over it, sprayed it, some lacquer all over it to protect it. So the next stage is to fit the um, the bearing caps. There's one either end of course, there's a bottom one and a top one. This is the bottom we're looking at. If I just enlarge it then you can see inside it. I've actually sprayed some uh, red oxide down there. Let me just find the can. It's just, there's no need to, you shouldn't be getting any water down there. Let's have a look, let me just zoom out again. Yeah, some salmon eyes, red oxide primer down there. There's no need to, there should be no water gets down there. I'm just uh, overdoing it as usual, really. So you can probably see some red down there, maybe. Of course, around the rim here, then I've got that uh, especially clean. And uh, before I actually fit the bearings, I'm going to put some grease all around here. Uh, this is the actual, um, let me just find it, just go to one side. This is the actual bearing cup. Let me see it. Oh, let me just uh, reposition it. This is the bearing cup. And this, of course, fits into here. The bottom one is a lot larger than the uh, top one. When I dismantled it, it, w it had ball bearings. In, in both the bottom and the top so of course I decided to put in um, a proper bearing race this is the set that comes it comes as a set you get the um, cups you get this uh, bearing race and of course for both ends so I thought I'd just show you what I'm how I'm planning to do this to make it um, easy shall we say so as I mentioned, this is actually going to drop in there, and I'm going to put loads of grease in there before I even start. And of course, when I put this in, I'm also going to put loads of grease on this as well. So this is, um, let me just show you what I've got to assemble this. This, let me just position it again, this piece of rod, see there, it's quite long because I bought it as a certain length. Uh, it's, it's probably twice as long as it should be. It's made of stainless steel, just threaded rod. I did buy some the other week, I bought some um, mild steel and when I tried to fit some wheel bearings it actually stripped the threads. So I'd go with the stainless steel, this is M10, 10mm diameter and this is going to fit down here of course and these bearing presses, there's one of course for the um, let's see I'm just trying to reposition it. This is a smaller one, this is for the top and this, of course, is the um, the bottom one. So the idea being that um, I'll just undo the. I think it's the M15. These nuts, so it's a 15 millimeter spanner that you need to um, screw it down. So if I just take that off, and I've got these penny washers, which are quite thick, probably about two millimeters thick. And this is the bearing press, one of them. So the idea being that this fits down there. I put the. Um, Drop the um, bearing race, which I've just lost it. Oh, here it is. Put this in here, and it'll need probably pressing in a little bit. It doesn't should be probably might even hand press in this one. But if it was a bit tight, then you could just fit this. This would drop on top, of course, and the rod would be coming up through it. And let me just uh, it would come out like that. Then of course you'll put the washer, and then of course you'll put the um, the nut, and then you'll just screw them both down at the same time, and hopefully they would they will go in square. That's the whole idea is that they go in square, not um, twisted. So that's the whole idea of these uh, bearing press is to make sure it goes in. I mean, I'm sure most people just get a piece of wood or something, a block of wood, and a hammer, and then just tap these in. But I thought I'd try and do it in a professional way. Not that I'm a professional, it's just a hobby. So what I'll do now, I'll turn the uh, frame round and just show you the other side, the top side, before I go any farther. Let me just stop the video to text. 
I've uh, turned the frame around so I've got a close-up of the bottom which as you can see is, is quite small, a lot smaller than the other. Uh, this is the actual uh, position again. This is the bearing rest that came out of it. It's uh, obviously a lot different to um, the bottom one. It's got this long shoulder down here which actually pushes down into there. So. Let me just uh, so again I would put in put in some uh, grease in there anyway just to stop any water coming in there some waterproof grease I've got one here I'll probably use the blue stuff instead of this let me just position it so you can actually see this oh, easier said than done I think really see if you can see that there you go waterproof grease multi-purpose grease all grease is waterproof, so theoretically anyway. But I'm going to use that blue stuff anyway, which I tend to use on these scooters. So, I just smear it in there really. I'm just trying to stop any water coming into it really. Because there is holes in this frame, obviously, where it's, uh, this things fit into it, whatever. So, this is the, uh, the new race that I've got. That's going to just drop straight in there. It's not going to need much of a push anyway, you could probably do it by hand almost. Definitely a hammer and a block of wood. But again, I'm going to use that uh, the long bar idea. I do like to mess around sometimes. You know, with this um, a smaller version of this uh, bearing press here. This is a 42mm. This other one, I think it says it's a 50 And obviously the idea of these is that they just, they just fit. They just have to fit exactly this obviously not too small and not too large so that it'll be pressed in evenly so um, and this is the actual um small little bearing that's going to go in here i'm not sure which round it's going to go yet i think it's probably going to fit in this way but again i'll be packing this out with plenty of the um, grease the blue one anyway i'm going to be oh let's just move it around so just to show you this once again, when I actually um, decided to uh, remove them, I just used like a long drift and a hammer and just tapped around the edges. I don't know if you can see any marks on this one. Oh, nothing, hardly anything. Yeah, I just tapped around the edges really and it, they came out both of them, both the top and bottom, they actually came out really easily. So the next stage is to um, set all this up and um, get the um, all greased and ready and maybe I'll do a little short video just to show it being done really but I'm look, feeling how it, they go in it doesn't need much of a push to actually put them in as far as I can see so I'll see how it goes and maybe I'll use the bar and maybe I'll just try and push him by hand anyway I'll see what happens but I'll be doing that hopefully very soon and then I might show how um, how, how it's all looks at the same time with the uh, pinch of grease in it whatever so I th just thought I'd do this sort of beginner beginner video really just to um, show what the plan is and what I'm going to use and how these things look these are really odd little bearing things I'm not even 100% sure how it goes whether it goes in this way or goes in that way I think it goes in this way like this but I'll have to just check that out really. I'm pretty sure it goes that way around it just sits in there So I'll be checking that out soon, I'll let you know. So that's all for today, so enjoy the video, bye.